To meet the CSA standard, transformers must withstand these high currents for these durations. There is an enormous amount of literature on the subject of grounding. Here's a selection of the references we find most useful. That gives us the wind force on every meter of conductor. The actual value of the fault current will differ from the secondary side by the voltage ratio, but on a per unit basis they are the same. To work on the transformer, the contractor is not allowed to open the front until the utility disconnects it from the supply. 